Greetings, Inquisitor. I'm glad you found this holocron. Today's holocron is all about mods for people who love mods or maybe for people who hate mods. I've had some requests to take more time and show step by step what I'm doing with mods, explain why a mod is good or why it's bad, why I'm selling it. For my Lokwitter account updates, I typically just fast forward through that so people can generally see the good mods that I get. But this mod is going to sort out in great detail the method that I use and how we're going to select good mods for the account. So to start this out, I said it's probably best if we had some kind of a concept for mods. If you don't know anything about mods, you do need to go watch a mod video, learn about mods, figure out what they are, what they do, how they work. I'm not going to go into that level of detail here, but I'm going to show you um, by doing how I apply these concepts. When selecting a mod, you will almost always choose a mod with speed substats over a mod without any speed. And that's simply to say, if you develop 100 mods in your account and you go in to mod a character that has no mods on him at all, when you select mods, if you're looking at circles and you've got six different circles of the speed mod set and you're selecting one of them, you're almost always going to pick the one with the most speed. It's just you want your characters to go fast, and that's a natural thing to do. When you're picking offense, when you're picking crit damage, whatever mod set you're picking, if it has plus 15 speed, it's a much better mod than if it doesn't. Second bullet point, when you're optimizing characters, you will select mods that have stats that match your character's needs. And again, if you're picking an offense mod for a character that you want to hit hard, and that offense mod has percent offense substat, a little bit of speed, some crit chance, and maybe it has flat offense or you know some other stat like protection or potency, you'll say, well, that's a good mod. It's got a lot of stats that are going to help my character get critical hits and do a lot of damage and go faster potentially. If you have a similar mod and it's a crit damage mod, and it's got health percent, defense percent, flat protection, and a little bit of speed, you're almost never going to pick that mod because those defensive stats just don't match what you're trying to do with a critical damage mod set. The last bullet point here, we do not want to invest a bunch of credits in bad stats. And obviously, we have to decide then what bad stats are. By looking at these top two bullet points, speed is the most important stat. Stats that match the mod set are critical to you wanting to select that mod. So when I say bad stats, I mean any stat on a mod that doesn't meet the first two criteria. It's that simple. If you're building a tenacity mod, Tenacity is a great substat. If you're building an offense mod, Tenacity is not a good substat. It's a bad stat. So the rules for our mod work, we're going to rarely work on mods if they don't have speed. It's going to be very rare mod that we would look at that has no speed substat and we would still agree to put investment in that. Early in the game, when you're very first getting your mods, you have to be a little less picky and just get some mods on your characters. But once you're up and running and you've got some mod inventory, you rarely want to work on mods with no speed. With that in mind, any mod can be a speed mod. So let's say you get a tenacity mod that doesn't have any tenacity and the stats really aren't that good on it. But um, it's a blue mod and you get two hits in speed and you suddenly find yourself with a 16 speed blue tenacity mod. Um, you only need four speed mods in a speed set and the other two can usually be any mod that's got a lot of speed on it. So sometimes you'll find these mods that really don't have that great of stats on them and maybe not even match the mod set that you're working on. But you will take those just because of the speed. It's best when the stats match the mod set. Sell any mod that gets two bad stat lines. Once you have two bad stat lines in the substats, 
you have a 50-50 chance of getting something good on the mod. And if you have to slice it multiple times, you're just never going to invest in slicing a mod that half the time is going to disappoint you. So two bad stat lines, we're going to get rid of that mod. When we see a mod that's good enough to slice, we're going to lock the mod. That prevents us from selling it. It's also a visual indicator of what mods are good enough to slice and which mods are not. With that in mind, when you have slicing materials, if you're not willing to lock a mod and the mod is unlocked, you typically will not want to slice it. Now, maybe you just forgot to lock the mod, but if you see that in some case, then lock the mod and slice it. Just to set your expectations, if you had 100 mods, you're probably going to sell 85 of those mods. Out of the 15 that you work on, 10% of them are going to be okay. 4% are going to actually be good. And maybe 1% are going to be these excellent mods where you actually get 4 out of 4 good stats. So think about that. Maybe 1 out of 100 mods is really going to give you multiple hits in speed and other good speed stats. So you really have to look at a lot of mods in order to successfully build a good mod inventory for your account. So with that in mind, some people learn better just by watching. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to narrate. And as we go, I'll explain what I'm doing and hope that people can learn from it. Here we have two bad stat lines starting out. Flat health, flat defense, no speed, mod is sold. We're going to do some filtering on these mods to make it a little more convenient for us to look at them. This is a tenacity mod set. And for tenacity mods, we will almost always want a tenacity substat somewhere in there. This does not have it. It also doesn't have speed, so it can't be a speed mod. And off it goes. Three bad stat lines. The defense percent is good, but the other three are all flat stats. Uh, flat offense is not bad, but in that particular mod, we don't want it. So here, no speed, one bad stat line, plus the fat, flat offense, not an inspiring mod. Here we have protection, which is not a great stat line, but we do have crit chance. Now we get potency and speed. We've got three out of four that are good stat lines. We go ahead and hit it, and we hit both upgrades in the bad stat line, flat protection, get that out of here, sold mod. Now here we go, got two bad stat lines on that again. We've got flat offense here, which is not bad. Health, which is okay. And then we get two bad stat lines, flat protection, flat health. Neither one of those are something that we want. Mod gets sold. Tenacity mod, we're looking for tenacity. That had two bad stat lines on it before we even started. Here we've got the protection, which we don't want. Health, which we do. So we'll see what we get for the other two. Now, again, these are good stat lines, but we didn't hit tenacity on a tenacity mod. So off it goes. Crit chance and health, these are both good stats. Speed is a good stat. Tenacity is kind of a throwaway stat, but uh, we'll go ahead and invest in it. We get crit chance and tenacity. We do have some speed. It's a health mod. It's not horrible, but it's also not great. If we'd have got a couple hits in speed, we'd have been okay with it. That would have been great. Um, the tenacity is kind of a throwaway stat. So that mod is not a locked mod, right? We're not going to lock it. We're going to leave it alone. Uh, we may use it, we may not, we may sell it someday. All right, so one bad stat here with the flat protection, but willing to invest in it. We get a hit on speed, plus six speed for a total of 11, and a tenacity mod. So this is no longer a tenacity mod, it's more of a speed mod. It's not fast enough for us to want to lock it right away, so we'll leave it alone, and if we put it on a character someday, we'll develop it more. You'll notice I leave a lot of these mods at 12, and I, I don't finish them off. I leave them at uh, 12. And then when I actually put them on a character, I'll finish leveling them up. That's a way to keep some currency in the bank. Here we got two bad stat lines. Off it goes. So by only putting them at level 12, it allows me to save a little money in the bank. allows me to work more with more mods. Okay, one bad stat line. Second bad stat line. Out of here. Sold. Green Tenacity mod, one bad stat line already. Those first six don't cost that much, so we go ahead and invest it. We get a flat defense stat. Not interested in that. Out of here. All right, now we'll work on diamonds. 
Again, tenacity mod set. We're looking for tenacity. Here we've got tenacity. We've got potency. We don't like the defense, but see what we get on the last stat. Two bad stats, off it goes. One bad stat line here. We get speed, we get flat protection, sold. Here we're going to invest. We get flat offense. And flat offense, again, isn't horrible, but we don't have tenacity, and also we don't have speed. We don't have either one of the stat lines that we're really looking for in a mod like that, so off it goes. Here we get flat offense, flat protection, but we'll invest in the last one, see what we get. Um, it, it's not good enough. If we would got speed on that, we'd have kept it, but uh, uh, otherwise it's, it's gone. Two bad stat lines there. One bad stat line. Here we get defense. We did get tenacity, and that's exciting, and we like that. So we'll invest in the last uh, tick, its health. We're going to go ahead and see. If we'd have hit tenacity there, we might have been interested in keeping that mod. So even though the stat lines were bad, with health and tenacity on the same mod, we could have been interested. This is an example of a mod without speed, but it's a tenacity mod with a bunch of good stats. And even though it doesn't have speed, we're still willing to keep it um, and, and maybe someday we'll use it. I am trying to mod Moff Gideon, so as I'm doing that, uh, doing this, I, I find a mod that looks to me to be worth slicing. It's got four good substats, flat offense, offense, speed, and protection. We're trying to hit some speed on it. We don't, so we, we're at 10 speed, and um, you know, it's good, but really not good enough uh, for what we want here. So now we're looking, we're trying to find, are there any other mods? We don't see locked mods, so we're just trying to see if there's something with good enough stats that uh, we might be interested in going ahead and investing some slicing materials. I've got tons of slicing materials because we had the double drop days, and uh, I farmed a lot of these mod slicing materials and uh, was able to get, get that. So I did one slice on that mod. It didn't come out like I wanted, so I don't sell it but I also don't lock it or swap it out. So here we've got some blue mods. We're going to go ahead and arrange them by speed so that we can kind of see what looks best. And here we've got a locked mod. We've already got 12 speed on it. So we're going to see what we can get out of this. Now this has two bad stat lines, but remember, we, we got three hits in speed on this. So we're going to stay interested. The offense isn't horrible. We don't get another upgrade in speed but it is better than the one that we had on there, a couple more speed over that 10 speed mod. So we swap that out and we keep looking. And now we're just gonna go back to, to working on mods again. We're gonna take off the speed sorting and, and just go back to, to working on our mods in inventory. Here we do have tenacity, health, crit chance, potency. So it's four out of four good stats in a health mod. We're, we're just going to see where it lands. If it had landed in health, we probably would have been interested in it. A health mod with, you know, two hits in health, we probably would have hit it again. But, uh, but we sold it. Three speed is not that great, but it's enough to keep us interested. And uh, we don't hit any of the speed on the upgrades, so off it goes. Two bad stat lines, flat health, flat, flat protection. No speed substat, out of here. Flat health, flat defense, no speed substat, sold. We do have speed already on it, so we're just going to hit it a bunch. Bad stat lines. We, we just, we got, we should maybe shouldn't even have done nine on that, but uh, we we're trying to get an upgrade right away. So this is good. We got four good stat lines. The flat offense, we don't mind. That's a good enough stat. And here we got uh, offense and protection, so we go ahead and sell that. If we'd have got one hit in the speed, it would have been very interesting. These three speed mods are kind of, uh, three speed is not very good, right? So we invest in it just to see what happens, but once it doesn't go our way, we get rid of those mods pretty quickly. Tenacity mod with no tenacity on it is a gone mod. No, if it doesn't have speed and doesn't have tenacity. And again, these are good stats, right? But we're just trying to see if this is going to turn into a speed mod. We do get another hit. It's at eight speed. It's not great. It's not like a, a mod that we immediately want to lock and lock in, but uh, but it's keep it's something we can keep. 
All right, crit damage processor. Offense is good. Tenacity is a bad stat in this mod. So is protection. It does have percent offense, but it's just not good enough. So we don't invest anything in it. We just sell it straight out. The tenacity is kind of a, a, a decent stat on a defense mod. And we hit speed a couple times on this. And then we hit tenacity and potency. So overall, it's, it's not a bad mod. And again, tenacity is a defensive stat. So on a, on a defense mod, it's not, it's not a complete throwaway stat. It's kind of like flat offense. You know, you're not excited about it, but it's also not a bad stat. Here we've got two bad stat lines, but we do have speed. And if we can hit this speed a couple times, we'll be interested in the mod. And so we try it. Now we get three protection, and off it goes. Just not enough hits in that speed. Uh, crit chance, potency, offense. We go ahead and, and test this to see, and we do get more crit chance. So a crit damage mod with both crit chance and potency. Uh, again, it doesn't have speed. But look at this mod, right? It's got everything you want out of a damage mod. Crit chance, potency, and offense. And one throwaway stat, but uh, but but those three stats, because they're all what you want for good damage, it makes that mod worth keeping even without the speed substat. All right, so those two stats aren't great. Not enough good stuff on that mod to keep it. Off it goes. Offense, offense, potency. The defense is the throwaway stat. We're going to go ahead and see if we can get hits in offense. We do get another hit in offense, so it keeps us interested. And now we get more offense and more potency. So this is uh, a mother-in-law of a mod. Um, but So we'll keep it. We won't lock it. Um, and maybe we'll come back to it later and work on it. Maybe we'll come back later and sell it. Here we've got speed, offense, tenacity, defense on a tenacity mod. These are all good stats. This is about as good as you could expect, right? And we get two hits on tenacity. And even though we didn't get much upgrade in speed, remember, it's a tenacity mod. We're going to want that tenacity substat. So that's a good one. We, we, we like that mod. All right. And it does have speed, so there's a chance that later on, if we're working on it, if we six dot it, we, we might hit that speed later on. All right. We got protection and offense, not enough other good stats, so that gets sold. Tenacity mod, we're looking for tenacity. We don't find it, gone. I do tend to farm mods, like a lot of the same mods. Uh, some of these health mods and stuff like that came out of events. But for this week, I, I just farmed tenacity and speed. And when you're working on a lot of the mods that are from the same kinds of sets, it makes it easier because you don't have to constantly look and see what kind of mod you're on. Uh, this is an offense mod. We're looking for offensive stats. We do hit offense. Health's not a bad stat. Speed is good. The flat protection isn't exciting, but uh, we're really looking for uh, speed on that. We didn't get it. Again, it's an offense mod with good stats, so we'll keep it. We won't lock it, and maybe we'll use it later. The tenacity on this is not a great stat. Eight speed. It's an okay mod. Another one of those that are just okay. Don't lock it. We do get tenacity. It's a tenacity mod. It doesn't have speed. And uh, we do get another hit on tenacity, but the stats are, are pretty mediocre on this. So I was thinking about selling it, but in the end, we'll just put it in the inventory for now. Again, this is early game decisions, right? If this was on my main account, those mods would all be sold. They would definitely be sold. But because I don't have that big of a mod inventory on my alt, it's, uh, it makes more sense to keep those around at least for a little while. That one has, you know, some speed, not that great, mediocre mod, two, two bad enough stat lines that we're going to sell it. We're going to sell that one, flat, two flat stat lines before we even get started. Uh, this one doesn't develop speed, doesn't have good enough stats. This one we hit, we get defense and offense, no speed, sold mod. Uh, health mod, we're looking for something good. Tenacity isn't horrible. We get speed on it. We do multiple hits in offense on a health mod. Not really that great of a matchup with flat offense, so off it goes. Now we've got a tenacity mod that's starting out with tenacity, so we just develop the other stats. 
Health and offense, not that great of stat lines. Off it goes. Potency, we do hit tenacity, offense. So good stat lines. We get flat stats on the last one. That's no good, and it gets sold. Now, gray mods, I am starting to work on some gray mods on this account on the circles. Gray mods have to be awesome or you really can't invest in them. So just, you know, you know, if you do 12 level ups on a gray mod, all you get to see is the four substats. You don't get to see where your first upgrade is going to go. You have to take them all the way to 15 and hit them with a slice before you can even see the first upgrade. And it's a risky thing. You will get some of these gray mods that have four good stats, and you will want to hit them with that you know, level 15 in the first slice. But if that first slice doesn't go your way, you got to be willing to bail on these mods. You can't continue to throw money after a mod that starts out and doesn't go your way. So with gray mods, they really have to be worth it before I'm going to invest. Um, here we get a couple good stats. Now we've got three speed. Now we've got a health substat. Not good enough. If that had been five speed, maybe we'd be interested in continuing. We get tenacity on a tenacity mod. The second flat stat line, off it goes. Defense and offense, bad stat lines, gone. <clears throat> One bad stat line, not it does get tenacity though so we kind of pause and go back now we got crit chance now we got speed and now all of a sudden this mod is looking pretty good so we're going to test it and we get crit chance and we test it again and we get more crit chance and again there's characters like Enfys Nest that are going to benefit from the critical chance that you get on a mod like this so it's not it's not horrible and you can see that we invested some slicing materials in there and, you know, we got crit chance and we did get another upgrade in tenacity. We never did hit the speed. So it's, it's not that great of a mod. Here we've got an offense mod that develops four decent substats. The tenacity is not that great. Unfortunately, that's the one that we hit. Two hits in offense. It's not going our way for speed. We're not going to invest any more in that mod. That probably is getting sold someday. Uh, so we don't lock it and we don't... Uh, we don't continue to invest. But these gray mods are, are tricky. You know, they can, you, you invest those slicing materials in, and like I said, if the first slice or two doesn't go your way, you've, you've got to be willing to, to get out of there, even if they've got all good stats. All right, so we got tenacity on this one. Now two flat stats, off it goes. Uh, speed mod, we're looking for speed sub for sure. We don't get it in the first two hits. Uh, off it goes. Defense, bad stat line, no speed, off it goes. Bad stat line, no speed. And again, on a speed mod, it's real simple. You either get speed or you get two good stats or you're just done with it, right? Protection, health, one bad stat line. And we're not going to continue invest in things that already have a bad stat line. Here we've got speed, but we've got protection, and it's on a tenacity mod, so that's not good enough. Uh, and you can see that I'm I'm pretty uh, brutal with these gray mods. Like they they've got to be pretty good or they're just gone. I invest six in them to see what the first two stats look like, and if they keep me interested, I'll keep going. But as soon as something you know comes up bad on these gray mods, uh, it's gone. So crit chance and defense not horrible. We get a flat stat, sell it. Speed and offense. So this could be a speed mod. We get a flat stat on protection. The five speed is pretty nice. This is a you know, tenacity mod. So at the end of the day, we, we don't have tenacity on it. And even though it could be a speed mod because we don't get, that, we don't get to see that for free, we're not going to invest in a tenacity mod trying to force it to be a speed mod. So off it goes. And we're still trying to mod this character, so we arrange by speed. Here we have a 12-speed circle, so we put that on. And again, guys, just like I wrote in the rules, when you're picking mods for characters, we want Moff Gideon to go fast. He needs to go uh, pretty early in the turn order to have full effect. So the mods that don't have great speed, we don't even look at them. Like, like There's just this automatic... Uh, you're only looking for mods with speed. So that, that's what I'm 
saying when you're working on these mods and you're trying to develop the speed substats, just understand that when you actually start picking characters like Moff Gideon and start, this is a heartbreaker because it had speed on it already as a gold mod and we don't really hit it and then we get one in everything. So it's 11 speed, the stats aren't that great. Um, it, that could have been a great mod. So yeah, that's why we're so picky about our speed is because when you're actually selecting them to put on characters, you're always going to pick the faster mods. So the mods that don't turn out well, you, you just you don't want to keep those. That's a defense mod with protection, 9 speed, health, potency. It has flat health on it, which isn't great, but it's on a health mod, so it, it, I mean, it matches what you're trying to do with the, with the mod, so it's not horrible. Uh, so we do lock that one in. Here we've got an offense mod with a tenacity main stat. And regardless of what the substats are, you're, you're not going to pick a tenacity main stat if you're trying to build an offense set on a character that hits hard. So that mod, I mean, when you see that kind of a mismatch, you don't even play with it. You just sell it, get rid of it. Protection on a health mod. When we get some bad stat lines, off it goes. Uh, we've already got one bad stat line. We'll develop it. We don't get speed. We don't get tenacity. There's really not a reason to keep this. Here we've got a health mod with tenacity, and we just sell that outright. Again, if we're looking for tenacity, we're typically going to be looking for a tenacity mod with tenacity. So here we've got a speed substat. We're just going to hit it and see what we get. So it's a tenacity mod. It's got potency on it. It's got some speed. The stats are pretty decent. And, of course, we hit the one bad stat line as soon as we slice it. So that's a bit frustrating. And then we hit it again. So, yeah, that's, that's disappointing. Tenacity mod with a tenacity main stat. You're almost always going to keep these even if the stats are garbage. And in this case, we really got pretty decent stats on it. No speed, but still, it's a tenacity cross with tenacity um, and for good usable stats so we just lock that one in that's definitely a mod that uh, will get taken all the way all right so then we're going to look at the crosses and we're just going to sell tenacity that doesn't have tenacity and we're going to sell other mods that do have tenacity so we're looking for tenacity mods with tenacity substats um <clears throat> And on other mods, we typically don't want a Tenacity mainline. So here we're going to develop another Tenacity cross. Uh, doesn't look great, but we want to keep some in inventory to keep our options open. This has two bad stat lines on it, so off it goes right away. Now when it comes to these triangles, you have to be a lot less picky. Uh, you get a lot less of these when you farm than you do the other mod types. Uh, I believe these are really the fewest um, of all the types that you get. So you do, on triangles, you do have to be a little more accepting of mediocre stats. And especially if it's a, a mod that has, like this has crit damage, we get a speed substat, we get tenacity on a tenacity mod. So this is perfect, right? It's got uh, stats that match what we're trying to do. We're going to go ahead and slice it a couple times and see what we get. We get speed, we get potency, we still have that tenacity substat. We do have one um, bad stat line in there with the flat health, but that's okay. I mean, we're not mad about that. Okay, and again, because it's a triangle, we're going to be more accepting of that kind of stuff. And we are trying to mod grief, so we're taking a look at the options that we have here. And this defense triangle does have speed on it, so let's see if we can get some more speed. We do get one hit on speed, so it keeps us interested. And it's a defense mod set with a defense main stat and nine speed. So that's going to get locked in. That'll definitely go on a character somewhere. All right, now we've got a speed mods, and we're looking at these, and they're green mods with one speed stat on them. They didn't hit the upgrade. So... Again, we're, we're just looking for any kind of mod that we might want to slice, that we might try to get some extra speed out of uh, for, for our character that we're trying to mod here. 
We hit offense a couple times, so that becomes a really mixed message, right? We've got a protection, main stat, speed, offense, substats. It's just kind of weird. So we're, we're trying to slice our way into success here, and we're having no success. Slice that, get protection. It's really not going our way. So now we're kind of stuck, and I'm back looking through here. This might make more sense to do this mod because it's got uh, eight speed on it as co uh, compared to the five speed on the one that we've got on there. So we go ahead and we put that on with eight speed. It's not locked in yet. We're going to slice it. We don't hit the speed. We're getting increasingly frustrated with our inability to uh, <laughs> get any speed upgrades to this account this week. Um, and now we're just going to go in. We're going to reveal the third, uh, the, the last stat on that uh, purple triangle. And um, again, this is offense with a protection main stat, which isn't mismatch. We were trying to hit speed. We didn't hit speed. Out it goes. And again, with the triangles, you're trying to force more action because you just don't, you don't get as many. So you, you got to try to work with whatever you get a little more than the other mod sets. All right, so we get a speed upgrade on that. We get a defense upgrade. It's it's okay, not great. Here we go for uh, speed upgrades. We get a lot of protection, tenacity mod. It doesn't have enough speed. It doesn't have a tenacity substat, so off it goes. This one is a health with an offense uh, stat. That's no problem. Somebody like Anakin who doesn't mind having health might want the offense main stat. Could be a good mod, even though the stats don't necessarily match up. Crit damage, you always want to look for crit damage triangles because they'll, they're will they very versatile and useful on a lot of things. So if they work out at all, you want to keep those. One bad stat line here already. We hit it. We get protection flat stats. Sell that. All right, on to the arrows. <coughs> We're looking for an arrow for grief. We're going to definitely do a speed arrow. And I don't keep many uh, speed mods set if they don't have speed on them. I think I have one speed set with crit avoidance or something like that on it. But other than that, I typically don't keep speed mods unless they're speed. So I'm just really looking for the good substats. Uh, so we just get a speed arrow going on Gideon for now. And uh, <clears throat> now we're going to look for the last piece. And we do have a tenacity cross already. So if we put tenacity over here, then we do get a tenacity set. And this mod set puts him at 263, which isn't bad. He's at 157 speed. When he gets maxed out at gear 12, he's 178. At relic level, he's 198. So he still has some speed to build yet. But we managed to find a, a full mod set for him. So now we move on to Queel. And Queel shares stats with other scoundrels. Uh, so we're going to look toward um, the stats that he can share. So we still have mods to build in this account. We're not done with just our, our mod sorting and building. We finished out the character, but we got to get back in here and see what we've got to work on. Now, that arrow is speed, and it has complete garbage stats, but it's for a crit damage set, which I don't really have many of those mods. And if I need that arrow, it does have speed on it. So even though the stats are garbage, uh, I do end up keeping that mod. Now, we need to we need to go in and do a batch sell. So I think... I think I go in here pretty soon and, and, and sell some arrows because we've just got a bunch of stuff in here that we're not going to be interested in. This is a crit avoidance um, arrow, and it develops a speed substat, so I thought we might be interested in it, but, uh, but we're not. And again, we're going to want a tenacity arrow with, if, even if it has crit avoidance, we're going to want a tenacity substat somewhere, so... Uh, that that mod probably won't be used. But again, we, we have to have something in our inventory for when we start building a Tenacity character. All right, here's Crit Avoidance again, which is not a bad stat to have. 
and we get four usable stats, protection, offense, defense, potency, um, but no tenacity, no tenacity, no speed. Uh, so if it had tenacity in it, we would have been, we would have been happy with the mod. All right, now we've got a crit avoidance mod, and we actually do hit tenacity in it. And we've got tenacity, and we've got defense and health. This is a very defensive mod. So if we just want a character to live a long time, then that might be a good choice for us at some point in the future. And again, it's just characters like, you know, Nest, Malik, you know, some certain characters like that that, uh, that you're going to develop the tenacity stuff on. So here we've got an offense arrow with a tenacity set, crit chance, speed. It's a very offensive mod, but in the end it's not developing tenacity, so off it goes. Uh, a lot of these stats just don't match. Now we've got the crit avoidance, speed, potency, defense, good stat lines overall. Really wish we had tenacity on this mod. Um, so we're going to see if we can put some speed on it, and we can't. But... Um, there we go. Now we got some speed on it. So it becomes an interesting mod for a tenacity set where you want a character to go a little bit faster. So we took a chance on it. It worked out okay. Here we're going to develop the substats. Not a great mod, but again, it's speed with a speed main stat, so we're fine with it. Uh, here's tenacity with a speed main stat, and we do hit a tenacity substat, so we park that mod. Two bad stat lines. Off it goes. Speed, main stat, tenacity. We're looking for tenacity somewhere in the substats. Don't get it. That arrow's out of here. All right, so now we're looking at uh, whatever arrows we can get. We'll arrange them by speed, and we'll try to select an arrow. And again, we're looking for something that has uh, s stats that Quill can share. So that one, I think, had some flat protection and, and flat health or something like that. So stats that he could share. So we picked it. Now, we're, we are looking for some speed on Quill. Ideally, you know, eventually I want Quill to be very fast, to be able to boost up the bounty hunters and, and make them all go first with his skill. Uh, he's got a skill that gives everybody, I think, 25% turn meter, something like that. So if you can if he can do that skill first and he's really fast, then your bounty hunters all will go get boosted and go faster. So we're looking for speed stats. There's <clears throat> double protection stats on that mod. Here we've got a bunch of flat protection, offense, some decent stats, some stuff that he can share. He shares the offense too, right? So we're happy with that offense main stat. That'll help us get more offense to share. And now we're just trying to figure out how to work a set that's going to be to our advantage. And we've got a crit chance set going. And this is a very defensive mod. It has potency, protection, a bunch of different stuff on it. Here we have a health mod that has protection. And that would be nice to be able to have both the health from the health set and the protection to share with the rest of the team. So we're just looking at our options here, trying to figure out if there is just a crit chance set. And there's really not. And we're pretty satisfied with the other mods. So we look for a health mod that we might be able to use here. Because remember, there's a health triangle that could work. So if we can find a health mod with reasonable stats. We're looking at this one because it has a lot of potency on it, right? Potency is a stat that we share. Um, it's not that exciting. It only has seven speed and flat defense, and that's really not great. It's not what we want. But uh, this mod has eight speed, has health, offense. It has all stats that we can share. So we're taking a look at this mod as a, as a possibility. What are we going to go with here? <clears throat> I guess it took me longer to decide... And, the video suddenly got very boring while I'm trying to uh, wait for my choice to narrate. But uh, but this is where we're stuck on Quill. We're trying to find stuff that's good enough to share stats that, uh, <clears throat> that'll that help us with our other characters. So in the end, we pick this square for speed. It has potency, protection, and health, all three. It doesn't have good speed, but we just... 
you know, work the stats and it's just a bunch of stuff that he can share. Then we do, um, we look at the triangles again. And this health triangle here has protection, offense that we can share, and it's a health set. Uh, this has less stats that we can share, but it does have more speed, and it still has the protection main stat. And then we're just looking for another health mod so that we can take advantage of the health um, a health set and a speed set on Quill. Now we're going to look at the, the uh, diamond. We've got an 11 speed. It's got a bunch of flat protection on it, which we don't want eventually, but for right now at lower levels, it's pretty good. So we get some bu a bunch of health, bunch of protection, a decent amount of offense, at 1653, he'll be sharing something like 650 offense with other characters. So that's pretty good, making them 40% better. All right, here's where we go in and we reset the teams. So we're putting Moff Gideon into the team here. And we're rearranging because of the improved modding that we did. Um, and that's going to be in the main video. So now we're going to work on Grief Karga. We've done most of our mod work for the week. We still have a few mods to work on, but not too many. Now we're coming in, we're working on Grief. And again, because Quill shares health, protection, potency, and offense, what we can do with our characters is we can focus on critical chance and critical damage, and we can rely on on the shared offense stat to bring up their offense. So on a character where you're, you're just building the character to do damage, a lot of times you'll want like an offense set with a crit damage triangle and an offense cross, and that's your best way to get good stats. For, uh, for this particular build, because Quill's bringing in all of that offense, we can really focus on maximizing our crit chance and crit damage stats and let him bring the offense. So here we're looking for a suitable triangle and we're really just picking from the uh, crit damage, crit chance sets. And this mod is almost too good for Grief Karga at this point. It's a crit damage triangle with crit damage and good speed. So it's a really good mod even to the extent that I'm looking at it going, man, uh, you know, he, Grief, Grief Karga doesn't deserve this mod. <laughs> but it's what I've got, and I can pick it off of him later and, and put it on a character where I really want it. So we're going to go ahead and level these mods up and lock them in. And this is going to give us reasonable speed. Not great, but also not horrible um, 188 speed. Again, he's got very low gear, so he's only 128 speed. But 216% crit damage, 44% crit chance. And as we put on the next few gear upgrades for Grief, uh, that's really going to take off. And Grief is not necessarily that high of a damage character. But again, we're going to be sneaky about how we build this. We're going to look for the offense and durability to come from Quill, so then we can really... Uh, you know, surprise people and do all kinds of damage, even with our Grief Karga. And that way, like on the mass assists and everything, he'll be throwing in a bunch of damage. So now we're going from five dot mods to six dot mods. And this is where, you know, if you locked your mods and you know what your best mods are, you'll have no problem sorting out which ones need six dots and which ones need to be um, sliced. That gave us a 23 speed mod. I call them finished mods because once you get five speed upgrades on a mod, you cannot get any more speed upgrades. So that, to me, that's a finished mod. I'm not going to continue slicing it if I can't get more speed. All right, here we slice the cross and we get another hit on speed. So it goes from 15 to 16 when we six dot it up to 21 speed. And... Uh, 21 speed is pretty good. Again, we've got two stat lines on there that aren't that great, but you don't care about your bad stat lines when you got 21 speed, right? That's the, uh, that's the important part. Now we're trying to look at these mods and trying to decide which ones deserve 
to be six dotted and moved up. This has one bad stat line, three reasonable stat lines. We level it up, we get defense. We hit it again, defense again. We hit it again, defense again. We really don't want 12% defense <laughs> on a crit chance mod, but we can't seem to hit that last upgrade to speed. So that's what that mod's going to be. It's going to be, for some reason, a very defensive mod going to the future. But we're just using it for the 20, 21 speed or whatever it's got on it. All right, so we've got two mods here that we're not going to six dot simply because they're just not quite good enough to six dot. And that brings me to a total of uh, 321 speed on that, uh, on that Stark. So that's all the modding that I did on my Loquitur account with an explanation. You can kind of see how we work through those mods, the, the, the you know, rule set that I have in my mind that I'm using uh, when I'm going through these mods on which ones get sold. And uh, I hope this video has been helpful to some people to watch how I do it. I'll continue to do these videos for a few weeks and we'll see what the response from the community is. If you like it, leave me a comment, let me know if it's helping. If there's something different that you would like to see me do in these videos, leave the comment down below. Uh, give me your suggestion. Let me know what it is that you want from these videos so that I can try to really make it the best for the community. Thank you for watching. Use your like saber to absolutely annihilate that like button if you have not done so already. It helps me. It helps my channel. Get the like button. Take it out. Subscribe if you haven't already. Use the notification bell so that you know when the new videos are coming up. Thank you all for your time, and I will see you in the next Holocron.